Guys, yesterday S&P 500 has breached its previous all-time high of 4818 and gave another all-time high at 4842 and is expected to sustain bullish at least until January 25th, 26th. What is so special about 25th and 26th? January 25th, GDP data will be published and January 26th, the PCE inflation or the core PCE data will be published. And it's not just about the S&P 500, but it's also about the Dow Jones. Yesterday, the Dow Jones also moved up and breached its consolidation zone and was able to make another all-time high at 37,933. Now, as mentioned in my previous S&P 500 weekly technical analysis, if the S&P 500 sustains at 4790, in that case, the S&P 500 will be able to move towards 4818 and most likely it will breach and it will make another all-time high. And yesterday also it was seen struggling at 4790 in the first two hours. However, it managed to sustain in the first two hours at 4790 and that was the primary condition and then we have seen that it was able to move up further. So yesterday in my first update to my Patreon community members, I have informed that there is a zone, a small zone, 4802 to 4807. And this zone is created by the trend lines. So this means that after sustaining at 4790, the S&P 500 is going to struggle at 480207, this particular zone. And if you have noticed that for two or three hours, the S&P 500 was struggling 4802 or the 4807 in this, the zone. And only if the S&P 500 manages to sustain, then it will see 4818 and then most likely it is going to form another new all-time high. Now, there is one more question that why the S&P 500 was again and again struggling and how and why the S&P 500 has sustained, especially, especially on Wednesday. It was the Dow Jones because the Dow Jones was still trading in the consolidation zone. So it, it was it was very, very much clear that it doesn't matter what is happening in the S&P 500 or NASDAQ. But as long as the Dow Jones is sustaining at this the zone, nothing will go down. And if you see that in my first update on January 17th, Wednesday, I mentioned that the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ and the entire US stock market will not fall or will not see heavy fall unless Dow Jones gives up the zone. What zone? 37,073 to 37,150 zone. And if the Dow Jones sustains and doesn't give up the zone, then it doesn't matter what the S&P 500 or NASDAQ are doing or to what levels they are trading, there will always be a possibility of a good reversal. So we have seen that on Wednesday, the Dow Jones, Dow Jones closed above the zone. So what was so special about this, the, this particular candle on Wednesday? On this particular candle on Wednesday, the Dow Jones, it hit the saturation in the bearish side through the stochastic RSI. I have informed my Patreon community members that yesterday the K channel of the stochastic RSI of the Dow Jones hit 0, 0.00, whereas the D is near to 0. And other than that, Dow Jones closed above the zone and these factors indicate that although, Dow, or that although Dow Jones is getting weakened or is getting weaker and is under pressure but now technically will be allowed to sustain and because K channel is zero, this means that Dow Jones can also move up. And if you have subscribed to my YouTube channel or if you are my Patreon community members for last many months or so, then you know that whenever K hits zero, then we anticipate a reversal. Anyways guys, uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to join my Patreon community in order to get the daily and precise updates of the S&P 500 and the entire market, then I've given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section. Now guys, I'm going to discuss the agenda of this S&P 500 weekly technical analysis for the week of January 22nd, which means uh, from January 22nd, which is uh, Monday to January 26th, that will be Friday. So whatever I have discussed just now, I am going to explain everything in detail in terms of technicals numbers through this, the agenda. Okay. So the first point of the agenda is the S&P 500 technical analysis on the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, a very strong candle, not just in S&P 500, but also in the Dow Jones. Okay. So we will analyze the candle. We will see if there is a condition of 
the of this the saturation or the overbought or not okay so weekly chart means the big picture right then s p 500 technical analysis on the daily chart daily chart means that see this is the daily chart whatever up down up down movement is happening okay and whatever i've shown you through these the patreon community notes that this kind of movement then sustain and then reversal then sustain and then forced move up then the moving averages and all so this everything i'm going to discuss here on the daily chart now third point of the agenda is the probable movement of the s p 500 and the us stock market from january 22nd which is monday to january 26th that will be friday whatever is going to happen in the entire us stock market i am going to discuss in this the last point of the agenda so guys if you have not yet subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and to get the daily precise s p 500 updates from monday through friday each and everything you can join my patreon community i have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section now guys i am going to discuss the first point of the agenda of this s p 500 weekly technical analysis and here i will do the technical analysis of the s p 500 on the weekly chart this is the weekly chart weekly chart means one candle represents one week not one day or one hour one candle means one week okay now uh, when we look into this the weekly candle then what you are going to notice is that it's a heavy bullish candle heavy bullish candle and the closing of the candle was approximately equal to the high of the candle what it indicates this indicates that there are bullish sentiments or there were good bullish sentiments at the time of closing and this means that on monday on monday we can see or we can expect a gap up open gap up open in the stock market or irrespective of any open an initial bullish movement okay this is what this the candle is indicating simple okay either gap up or even if there comes a gap down open then also an initial bullish movement this initial bullish movement may be limited may be more okay it depends on multiple factors what will be there on monday okay so this is the meaning of this the bull candle and when we uh, see the same or when we look into this the uh, dow jones then again okay the same indication so i hope that this picture is clear through the candle uh, and this also indicates the continuation of the bullish trend right now in terms of the technicals technicals uh, as of now bullish bullish moving averages and everything is bullish clear fan out patterns are good and uh, <clears throat> the macd is, is still uh, bullish okay Stochastic RSI a little uh, means in terms of the number it may seem bearish but it is still trading in the bullish zone so it will be somewhat it will be considered as bullish uh, and through all other factors so it looks like that the S and P 500 okay uh, we can say that uh, the S and P 500 is 90 percent bullish on the weekly chart okay considering that 10 percent in the stochastic RSI and other than this 90 percent the S&P 500 is almost at saturation and overbought through the weekly chart simple and when we look into the Dow Jones and guys once again now the question is that why why again and again we are discussing the Dow Jones and why we are giving this much of weight um, or importance to the Dow Jones so here in my notes to my patreon community members okay i have answered this question that because the reason is that in last two months or more than two months two and a half months it was actually the dow jones which helped the entire us stock market to move up heavily against everything known or unknown it has breached the known concept the technical the saturation everything dow jones was moving up heavily and this has helped the s p 500 and the dow jones, uh, and the nasdaq to move up and other than that it was the dow jones which went heavily saturated and heavily overbought that we have not seen in the last 16 or 17 years okay this is why unless dow jones comes out of the specific conditions we can't trust the movement in the s&p 500 and the nasdaq right so this is the reason why we are giving this much of importance to the dow jones as of now we are relying on the s&p 500 like 80 percent or 70 percent and for that 20 30 percent we are relying on the dow jones because Dow Jones is giving the direction or the momentum or the movement and as I mentioned in the beginning of this weekly technical analysis that it was actually the Dow Jones because Dow Jones failed to give up the zone that is why we have seen that the S&P 500 was able to move up 
otherwise the S&P 500 at one point of time it came in a condition wherein it was supposed to give a good fall. However, Dow Jones sustained and Dow Jones held the entire US stock market, not just S&P 500, but also the Nasdaq and all other the stocks and known ETFs and the indices. Okay, so this is there now. Yes, Dow Jones. Dow Jones. If you look into the Dow Jones, almost the same conditions, bullish, bullishness, and everything is there. Okay, what is so special about the Dow Jones is, or concerning, so special or concerning, you can say, is the divergence in the moving average okay that is a point of concern in the dow jones and it is in the saturation and the overbought again okay so dow jones is like um, almost 100 uh, percent bullish okay it is saturated and overbought and also the point of concern is that the macd is macd is um, means the divergence the divergence in the macd is heavy so what it means, what it means for the Dow Jones and what it means for the S&P 500. This means that the bullishness or the bullish movement which we are expecting in the market, this may not be heavy, rather this will be limited. Because if the Dow Jones moves up any further, in that case this divergence in the MACD will further increase. It will hit, uh, it, will, um, it will again enter into the, this, the heavily oversold have, sorry heavily overbought and heavily saturated okay this is the condition so as of now dow jones is already kind of saturated okay and we have seen that recently again the dow jones came into the consolidation because of this the saturation and again historically we have seen that whenever such kind of scenario or such kind of situation is seen then the dow jones was forced to stop it was forced it was compelled to stop or to limit its bullish movement and rather to enter into the consolidation or to give up okay not heavily if not heavily then to some the normal levels okay so this means that yes we are anticipating this um, uh, the bullish movement okay in the entire us stock market however this bullish movement is expected to be limited what this ex uh, this bullish movement is expected to be limited this limited expected movement is not because of the nasdaq or s p 500 let me repeat it is because of the dow jones so guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if you want to join my Patreon community in order to get these daily precise updates of the S&P 500 and the market, then I've given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section. And guys, one more thing I want to discuss is that this is my S&P 500 knowledge transfer program. Through this program, I teach the movement, hacks, strategies, technicals, trends, analysis, manipulation, and predictions prediction means even before the movement happens or even before that kind of movement is, is seen in the market okay or the index then the support and resistance levels okay and much more through this the stock market knowledge transfer program or the S&P 500 knowledge transfer program and this program is one on one basis okay and this is my email address and this is the google spreadsheet where the details are mentioned and in this the google spreadsheet you will see that what i am going to cover in this the program okay uh, everything from the basics okay to the advanced the technicals okay and the other other things that trading strategies options options trading strategies okay and then um, the predictions okay the movement the price prediction the, and deduce the trend of the market even before it happens okay things and the intraday hacks short term hacks long term hacks okay with 99% certainty and this is my email address whenever you want to participate or if you have any questions these are the terms and conditions okay and these are the snapshots of the people who have participated in this the program and so guys once again i've given the link to this program in the description of the video and also in the comment section and this is my email address whenever you want to participate you want to learn and you want to become self-reliant you can drop me an email or if you have any question then also okay you can simply drop me an email now guys, I'm going to discuss the second point of the agenda of this S&P 500 weekly technical analysis. And in this the second point of the agenda, I will do the um, uh, S&P 500 technical analysis on the daily chart. This is the daily chart. Daily chart means one candle represents one day, not one hour or one week. One candle means one day. Okay. Now, uh, on this the daily chart, if you notice, so at first the candle, if you notice the candle, it's a heavy bullish candle similarly a heavy bullish candle in the dow jones okay and the closing of the candle was again uh, approximately equal to the high of the candle this indicates that um, on monday we can uh, we are expecting either a gap up open okay or irrespective of any open gap down or so 
an initial bullish movement okay clear and there are bullish sentiments in the market right now now comes the technicals now in terms of the technicals uh, if you notice that first time it has disallowed this the bearish crossover in the moving averages so that would have uh, forced the um, S&P 500 to come down further to enter into the reversal cycle and then the second time okay especially in the second half on Thursday it happened otherwise it was supposed to give a crossover okay a bearish crossover okay this indicates that uh, there are bullish sentiments or not just the bullish sentiments but the market is bullish okay and is in the bullish trend and is expected to be in the bullish trend unless something happens I don't know what that will be okay but what uh, we know is that 25th of January 26th of January and then 31st of January okay these are the important dates okay and uh, if something has to happen okay means against the market then this may happen on 25th 26th or 31st and um, I think before 31st Microsoft will post its earning we need to see okay whether it will Microsoft or so okay so these are the special cases because we have seen that the intentions of the market through these that there was a confirmed bearish crossover and then came a sudden and heavy bullish movement out of nowhere and it and it disallowed that crossover rather it formed the slip and it helped it to move up okay so uh, yes this part is clear and now the technicals in terms of the technicals the moving averages are clearly bullish okay everything looks bullish Ichimoku and all uh, yesterday because of this the heavy bullish movement uh, a confirmed crossover in the stochastic RSI and but the MACD is still bearish and that's the only point of concern and not uh, so that is not only the point of concern uh, the point of concern the other uh, the point of concern other than that is the S&P 500 if the MACD remains uh, bearish and still the S&P 500 try to move up even a little then it will enter into the saturation and oversold condition a bearish MACD saturation and oversold condition okay it will simply limit the upward movement okay and at the same time it can force it to cool down or to give up a little but as of but because it has moved up heavily this means that now any bearish movement or any fall will also be limited if the bullish movement will be limited then the fall will also be limited okay so I will discuss this in the next point of the agenda okay now yes uh, in terms of the Dow Jones so what is so important about the Dow Jones here is that Dow Jones on Tuesday on Wednesday yes on Wednesday uh, the Dow Jones it gave a confirmed on Wednesday the Dow Jones gave a confirmed crossover in the moving averages which we have not seen in last two and a half months okay and uh, we have seen that it was not there and it was almost there okay but on Thursday okay and then yesterday because of this the heavy bullish candle it simply changed means the moving averages okay they are simply now realigned bullish and there was again within two days there was a crossover a bullish crossover in the moving average this indicates that the bullish sentiments are so heavy so heavy and so high or whatever you can say okay that they are simply not allowing either so they are simply at first they are not allowing a crossover in the moving averages and even if the crossover happens then also somehow there comes some movement out of nowhere or so and then it simply force it to uh, give a bullish crossover okay and this was one thing but other than that yesterday the Dow Jones okay it made another new all time high okay so this indicates that um, whatever happens good is good good means good and the bad means good good is good and the bad is also good okay bad news ignored good news is considered doesn't matter whether it's small or big bad news doesn't matter it is big extremely big extremely heavy it will be ignored okay simple now technically if you notice the Dow Jones uh, MACD again and MACD is heavily bearish in case of the Dow Jones on the daily chart this means that it will take some good time maybe three four days or so for the MACD to uh, change from bearish to bullish in case of the Dow Jones okay uh, but the stoch stochastic RSI is bullish and um, saturation and so again okay, and that is the problem so this means that the um, 
So uh, what we have seen in the S&P 500 that the S&P 500 is uh, S&P 500 will be considered 80% bullish, 80% bullish, okay. And it is about to enter into the saturation and this is the overbought uh, mode. But the Dow Jones is, uh, uh, yes, we can say like it is also 80% bullish, but it is saturated and oversold or, and overbought. Okay. So it may keep on moving up and up because I do not know these are non-technical reasons. Okay. I can rely on the technicals. My technicals are saying that any more bullish movement will be limited. And to what levels it will be able to move up and from where it will get a reversal okay or this is a downward movement to and whether there will be a new trend line levels or whatever so so these kind of things i will keep you posted through these the daily updates uh, to my patreon community members and guys uh, if you also want to join my patreon community then uh, you need to understand that it's not just about these the daily updates the daily analysis of the s p 500 it is also about the stock market opportunities i gave these the stock market opportunities minimum 5 to 10 every week to my patreon community members along with these the daily precise s p 500 updates so whenever you want to join my patreon community i have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section and when you follow that link then you will see that this is my patreon profile and this is my patreon page and on my patreon page you will see that there are these two tiers as such there is no difference in these the two tiers other than the geographical location so whenever you subscribe to either of these, then you will get the daily S&P 500 analysis updates and the probable movement precisely. And also you will get the stock market opportunities minimum 5 to 10 every week. And guys, if you notice that many people have joined my Patreon community for last many days, weeks and months or more than a year. And they are getting these are daily analysis, the daily precise updates of the S&P 500 from Monday through Friday as well as these the stock market opportunities in the premium stocks of the US stock market in the top 30, 40 companies of the US stock market. So guys, whenever you want to join my Patreon community, I have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section. You can follow that link and you can join my Patreon community and you are welcome. Now guys, I am going to discuss the third and the last point of the agenda of this S&P 500 weekly technical analysis. And in this, the last point of the agenda, I will uh, give you the probable movement of the S&P 500 and the entire market in a way for the next week, um, January 22nd, which is Monday to January 26th, that will be Friday. Now, a probable movement, okay, uh, again, uh, you need to understand a few things, okay, that as of now, as I mentioned earlier, good is good and bad is ignored or considered good okay so this uh, situation it may looks good and favorable but at the same time okay uh, generally whenever these kind of situations are seen then um, so most of the time this was a very bad trap okay so this is based on the historical uh, these are patterns okay and the movement okay particularly this kind of condition and we do not control the movement of the stock market that is why we stick to the technicals and the levels and our technicals and levels work perfectly Okay, so that is why we will stick to the technicals and levels and uh, we will wait at least until something concrete happens and this can happen as early as on 25th and 26th core PC data and the PC data and the um, uh, GDP data and if nothing happens then 31st okay and whatever we are seeing here this heavy bullish okay it was supported by the fads or it was pushed or this so this bullish movement it was given by or it was supported by the federal reserve or the federal reserve chairman his recent comments and all okay let's focus on the technicals in terms of the technicals dow jones 37800 38100 sorry 38100 okay the next um, good or heavy resistance so around around 38,100 uh, 38, so we can expect that the Dow Jones may further move up from this the previous close and if we consider this means uh, from here to 38,000 or so so it comes approximately 0.65 percent 0.65 percent movement in the Dow Jones 0.65 percent movement in the Dow Jones means uh, 1 percent movement approximately it may be a little down it may be a little up more than 1% movement or 0 0.80% 0 movement or something like that okay in the S&P 500 so now one thing is clear or one thing is you know very very much clear 4 
seven nine zero. It was earlier acting as a strong resistance, and because of which the S and P five hundred failed, okay, two times, two or three times. Okay, this means that now it is going to act as a strong or a good support. What support? Support to the S and P five hundred. Okay, this means that if for any reason the S and P five hundred okay comes down, then it will try to sustain or it will get good support at four seven nine zero, and it will try to sustain at four seven nine zero. Okay, only and only if only and only if it gives a closing below four seven nine zero, okay, it will come under pressure and then it will be coming down. If it will be coming down, then to what? If if it will be coming down, then then to the zone. There is a zone. This zone has again and again proven itself. Okay, so any more bearish movement, any more fall from four seven nine zero, will be limited to this particular zone. Only if the S and P five hundred loses the zone, okay, gives two consecutive, two successive closings below the zone, then it will enter into the reversal cycle. Okay, so that is this is in the bearish side, bearish side, and there are some other levels in between four seven nine zero and the zone. Okay, so. so that i will give you if you are my patreon community member now in the bull side in the bull side where it is heading to because the s&p 500 has breached has breached the previous high okay previous or this the previous all time high this means that now as such there is no limit in the bull side okay where it can or where it will be going however if you are subscribed to my youtube channel for last many months okay or years then you know that i have my own calculated levels okay and they and they work perfectly okay. so we still have these are calculated levels in the bull side this means that any more bullish movement will further be limited okay in this bull side that if the dow jones moves up then the next heavy resistance is 38100 somewhere around 38100 uh, dow jones is expected to struggle is expected to sustain so whenever the dow jones moves up and it struggles Okay, we need to see where the S and P five hundred is. So, in simple terms, okay, just notice the movement around the Dow Jones. Okay, if it is struggling, okay, around means to what level it is struggling, and then at the same time, okay, wherever the S and P five hundred will be, it will also struggle. Okay, and if and if Dow Jones keeps on struggling, okay, at this the thirty eight thousand one hundred, okay, or around, I am not saying exactly thirty eight thousand one hundred. if it keeps on struggling around 38100 then the same will uh, and then the impact will be seen in the s&p 500 however if this is to be considered as a bullish breakout from the zone in that case the dow jones may breach and may further move up okay or beyond 38100 okay in that case the same impact will be seen in the s&p 500 what we are and what we must not forget is that any more bullish movement in the dow jones will make dow jones more heavily saturated and heavily overbought and that was the reason that we have seen again and again again and again this for last many days for almost a one month dow jones was like this okay and at the same time any more bullish movement in the s&p 500 will make it saturated and overbought okay and other than that the mscd unless the mscd comes out of this the divergence okay uh, means when the divergence uh, okay it this the gap closes or the divergence okay it minimizes okay we cannot expect the indices to move up any further rather the upward movement will be limited for that the limited movement i am saying 38100 or somewhere around 38100 plus minus some points okay you can say but no matter what the s&p 500 will struggle at these the resistance levels as simple as that okay and uh, there is one uh, very heavy resistance level okay in the s&p 500 where we are anticipating that the s&p 500 will cool down it will give up and it will come down back to 4790 okay but it will be coming down back to 4790 only if the dow jones gives up if the dow jones sustains in that case s&p 500 will not be coming down to 4790 okay it can Uh, it can be seen trading around this the particular strong um, resistance level okay or keep on struggling for one two or three days but whatever will be happening okay if, and if you are my patreon community member i will keep you posted through these the daily precise updates of the s&p 500 this means that in the bull side exact number okay where 
the s and p 500 can move up okay in the near future okay we do not know but what we know is that yes there are some resistance levels some very heavy resistance levels which are going to create a problem other than that we know that the dow jones if the dow jones moves up and if it breaches and if it sustains above 38100 then only s and p 500 can move up further and also any bullish movement as of now will be up to 25th and 26th of january okay or at most to 31st of january okay so if this bullish movement keeps uh, if the bullish movement more bullish movement is seen in the picture 25th 26th okay nothing happens then 31st of january and then we need to see that whether the federal reserve chairman will further support this the bullish movement in the stock market or if this time okay he will go bearish so it all depends at what the federal reserve chairman is going to say because whatever this the heavy bullish movement is seen it is only and only because of the federal reserve chairman himself okay he has openly supported this the this the bullish movement in the uh, in the stock market okay so this will be there in the bearish side what we know is that in the bearish side what we know is that 4790 Four seven nine zero is very very important because now four seven nine zero will define or will confirm whether the S and P five hundred is going to sustain and to move up further, or if it will come down and if it will like or see there are chances yes yes there is a possibility of the consolidation consolidation in the S and P five hundred consolidation in a manner that it will move up okay to some level okay. and then and if it struggles at this the resistance level or this the resistance zone okay in that case it will or it may enter into the consolidation at least until 31st of january it may trade consolidation means up down up down up down but neither bullish nor bearish that is the consolidation okay 4790 4790 here and losing 4790 means more weakness and then the zone then only the zone can protect or the zone can support but losing the zone this you know, this time it will uh, simply uh, push the s&p 500 into its reversal cycle but as long as it is sustaining above the zone or above 4790 it can remain bullish it can move up further because of the macd because of the bearish macd macd bearish macd and the overbought condition and this the saturation condition there will be pressure there will be pressure the downward pressure on the stock market okay and downward pressure means that the stock market want to move up freely but it won't be able to move move up freely this means that this downward pressure will will allow only a limited movement in the stock market now whether the market will give heavy bullish movement heavy bullish movement or limited bullish movement it will be clear as early as on monday because the movement on monday will decide the fate of the stock market okay so uh, we need to see on monday but if there comes a limited movement very limited movement 0. Point something in the s&p 500 then we need to wait for tuesday also okay so we can say that monday tuesday will tell us whether the s&p 500 and the dow jones are going to move up any further or if it will be limited or if it will enter into the consolidation so if you are my patreon community member so i will keep you informed through these the daily updates the daily precise updates and the precise analysis of the s&p 500 and if you want to join my patreon community then i have given the link in the description of the video and also in the comment section you can join my patreon community to get these the daily precise updates and analysis of the s&p 500 okay uh, so guys um, hit like if you have like this video and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not yet subscribe to my youtube channel And guys, uh, this was my S and P 500 weekly technical analysis for the week of January 22nd. Means from January 22nd, which is Monday, through January 26th, that will be Friday.